And you, you have, throughout this, I'm going to say, uh, precursor to the campaign, right. talked about change. And you were, right. you were front and center along with uh, Wade Kapsikavich in the Obama for Change campaign here right. locally. And you say that you can bring that idea for change to the city of Toledo. And that sounds great, uh -huh. Keith. I mean, it, 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 it's all well and good. But how do you impart that change uh, when the economy is in the state that it's in right now? Well, it, it, this is the time when we have to do that change, uh, Lee. And this is not something that's new to me. You know, I ran for mayor in 2005. Mm -hmm. Back then, Lee, I talked about, for example, that we shouldn't be doing budgeting so late in the year, that we should reform our charter and require three-year budget projections and begin it much earlier. You know, here we are in mid-November. The mayor, we don't, still don't know what the mayor's budget's going to show. There are rumors that it's going to cancel a police and fire class, that may be big layoffs. Now, that budget would take effect January 1, 2009. Yet here we are, the citizens haven't been engaged in a discussion about it. Now, that's just wrong. We have to begin engaging people in a discussion about that budget. We have to start having a business plan. And I talked about that before. So that's part of the change we need. We need change in how we deliver municipal services. We can no longer afford to continue on the course that we're on. We have over 50, over 50 government agencies in Lucas County. There have to be ways that we can achieve efficiencies by working together. And Lee, I talked about so that. streamlining things, yeah. uh, restructuring. I mean, what, what do you mean by changing? The well, way what, what I mean, and I specifically talked about joint service agreements between government agencies to, for example, um, uh, do uh, uh, building management, to do tax administration, to do claims handling. The, each of these jurisdictions do so many little things on their own that are duplicative. Now, we can combine a lot of that and start saving the taxpayers some money because if we don't do that, we're just going to continue on this slow road of, of decline. So there is that, is that a, a case of government a, waste key well, that you're pointing to? I mean, the duplication it, of services? It's inefficiency. Inefficiency. And it's, we've had a lot of discussion about Unigov and that sort mm -hmm. of thing, and that never seems to go anywhere. But we can't get anywhere until we learn Jack to walk. Jack Ward was big on well, and he talked a lot about it to his credit, mm -hmm. but people are very suspicious about that. What I'm proposing are concrete ways that we can work with other jurisdictions in order to combine services and to reduce the cost to the taxpayer. We have to start making those kinds of changes. We also have to start changing how we focus on economic development because it's one thing's clear, alternative energy, solar, wind, that is where our future lies. But other communities are being very aggressive in going after that. We have to be you, aggressive. You don't think too. that's happening here? Oh, I, I clearly don't think that that's happening here. Despite the fact that we've got a university that's doing a great mm -hmm. job, we are blessed to have uh, the leadership of uh, Lloyd Jacobs there and all of the work that's happening at the university. We see some private businesses that are, are really beginning sunlight and uh, solar uh, companies. But what is the city of Toledo doing? We're not offering tax credits for people to put these solar panels on their roofs in order to help create a market. That's what they, one of the things that they do in Europe, incidentally, in order to try to mm -hmm. foster that market. Now, other communities, Lee, are, are doing this. They're going to leap ahead of us. You know the solar field that I proposed, along with Joe McNamara, mm -hmm. incidentally, a very progressive yes. guy? Um, uh, that's being done in other communities. This is not something that, you know, was just thought of here. Other communities are doing this. It can be a wonderful demonstration project uh, for utilizing land that wouldn't otherwise uh, be put to any productive use in promoting us as a solar uh, city. Does, does the city of Toledo need to take a page from Wood County where there are windmills? Not many, but there are some down there for solars there, and there are a number of... Uh, uh, green entities going on in Wood County. Is right. that a case where they need to take a page from our neighbor? We, we, we clearly need to take a page from our neighbor. We also need to understand that the new administration, the Obama administration, has made a commitment to uh, alternative energy and an investment in uh, creation of five million so-called green-collar jobs. You know, a million plug-in electric cars uh, President-elect Obama has talked about putting on the road. We can build those cars here if we are smart and aggressive about uh, uh, transitioning to that mm -hmm. kind of an economy. And again, here, yet here we find ourselves six weeks before the new year without a budget proposal that the people have even looked at. Uh, we've got to do a much better job. 
Merritt will be on in the next couple of weeks, we believe, on this show. And I'm going to ask you why in 2005, Keith, you, you didn't win. How come you lost? <laughs> what happened? I didn't get enough votes. Yes, we understand, uh, we understand that. I probably, why didn't you win? Well, I probably started a little too late, and I, I'm not going to make that mistake this time around. Um, uh, getting a message out, you know, that, that's what it's really all about. I have great faith in the people of Toledo. I've lived here all my life. Uh, there are good people here, people who want to help, the 150 people who showed up on a rainy Wednesday. But there's an obligation to get a message out and to talk with them. And as these conversations go forward, I'm really uh, pleased about the response that we're getting. When you talk about uh, the change that, that needs to take place, and you mentioned uh, new energy and right. wind and solar, and everybody's talking about that. Everyone's talking about that. But I, I propose we do some things yeah, about it. But that costs money, too. It does. But, but we, we cannot be so short-sighted that we are taking, uh, that we're not doing long-term planning. You know, I propose to spend a million dollars a year out of the capital improvement budget, not out of the general operating budget, where you have to spend money on equipment, on, on long-term assets, and to invest in something that's going to pay us back, solar panels at one of our landfills that would both generate energy for us, uh, over the long run, 25 to 40 years, we'd get some money back and, and just as importantly, be a demonstration project for this entire region for people to come here and see how it's done. So we have to start putting our money in part where our mouth is and, and it can't be all just words. Let me ask you about uh, what you have been able to observe as, as somebody who's looking from the outside now, uh, the, the Marina District. The right idea to commission Larry Dillon to get this job done? Oh, I think that, that Larry Dillon is a superb uh, developer. We've got any number of potentially good partners mm -hmm. out there. Um, I, I don't think it's a failure to find quality people here. Part of that is being dictated by the, the current the economy. The, right. the economy. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you this, Lee, also, we need to make those kinds of investments in our existing neighborhoods uh, and not always looking for something brand new that's going to be our salvation. We've, what, was we've the, done with that, that in mind, was the, is the sports arena, is that going to be a money maker? Where, where are we going with that? That's a good thing. The sports arena is a good okay. thing, but it is not our salvation. It is not the, we, mm -hmm. it's, the, 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 the fact is, it's much harder than that. We have to invest in lots of places, particularly in the diversification of our economy. One project like that is not going to save us. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that it's a good thing, and it's good to have a viable, vibrant downtown. Looking forward to it. But our work is much harder. It involves many more people than that. It involves people in the South End. It involves people in uh, the Old West End, in the LaGrange Street area, in Toledo's neighborhoods. That is what this city was built on, its neighborhoods. And we need to, to keep that in mind uh, to get people living and working here in those uh, wonderful green collar jobs that we're going to be uh, looking forward to. You are, you're out here, although you haven't formally announced. I sounded like you're, you informally announced here okay. a few minutes ago, Keith. But what kind of uh, competition do you anticipate? There is, uh, you know, we have heard rumblings that Ben Conop was out there right. that we're not quite sure for, uh, about the right. mayor. Right. I mean, I know, imagine uh -huh. you have to worry about yourself. But, but I mean, realistically, I mean, what type of competition do you see out there? Well, uh, aggressive competition, okay. good competition. <laughs> and, but fundamentally, it doesn't Don't you want to see good competition? Oh, absolutely. It makes for uh, a better choice mm -hmm. for, for the citizens. But it does not affect what I'm going to do. It doesn't change my message. My message is the same. It's about engaging people in a way to change our community, change our economy, and to go after aggressively those uh, uh, jobs of the future. You know, we can build those, those electric cars right here. Um, we built a Jeep we in built 10, it. 15, 20 years from now? Absolutely. We can be the community that's building the cars of the future, but we have to, again, be smart about it. We have to be aggressive about it. We have to change how our city government is operating. People want that, and that is a change, the specific kinds of change I've talked about, and not just in the last week or so, mm -hmm. for a long time, yeah. and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Keith Wilkowski, thanks very much for thanks, coming Lee. in. Uh, I believe you said a candidate for mayor of the city of <laughs> Toledo. You can check him out at keithwilkowski.com. All right, we're back in a minute. Just uh, We're going to talk about COSA in uh, that levy fine.